Welcome back. Green is the color today. It's Jen Ostrowski and Mike <laughs> Ostrowski. <laughs> Oh, like or Mikos, whichever, something like that. <laughs> Everybody's Irish on St. Patrick's Day, and boy, the luck of the Irish is with us today. And a little bit of magic, too. Not from leprechauns, though. No, no, not from leprechauns, from Lindsay Noel and Francis Minotti joining us. They have a big show right. this weekend, mm -hmm. and you're going to give us a sample. Yeah, we have a four-leaf four 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 clover here, yeah? Right? Yeah, Close very enough, Irish, right? very ah, Irish. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, what did you take that for? <laughs> whoop, whoop. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Magically <laughs> changed. In the we are world. They we are, are going to see more magic tricks like that coming up from this married magic couple. Also, the magic of Irish dance is going to be on the show today, and we have got some beautiful dancers that are going to be tapping oh, away. Yeah, these are the Inish Free dancers. Yes, Inish Free School of Irish Dance. So we may learn a couple of the steps as well from these ladies and gentlemen. And to All wash right. everything down, Tullamore Dew is showing us some whiskey-inspired cocktails. And then that's going to wash down some great sandwiches over at the Hayden. And we're going to make a little Irish soda bread and, of course, a corned beef sandwich. Ooh, also some music from St. James' Gate. The Irish band is performing for us to get you in the spirit, right, for St. Patrick's Day. That and a whole lot more bunch of Irish events this weekend that's coming up on SA Live. <laughs> All right, let's get one final look at those chilly temperatures outside this lunchtime hour. 43 in Rock Springs, not warming up a whole lot out there in Edwards County. 47 in Kerrville, 50 here in San Antonio, 56 in Pleasanton, and a little bit warmer the farther south you go, 57 in Catula. Now again, we'll monitor throughout the remainder of the day to see how high those temperatures are able to climb mid to upper 50s here in San Antonio. And then this weekend, chilly and damp in spots and then we'll finally start to warm things back up as we head into the middle of next week, guys. So SA Live has Irish whiskey. They have some dancing. They have some music and they have some food. Yes. Perfect St. Patrick's Day holiday celebration for, <laughs> for Mike and, and Jen. I was going to use her last name again. But <laughs> SA Live starts right now. What more do we need? But we also have on SA Live today a Texas size retreat in the Guadalupe River. We're checking out a new camping experience that's rooted in nostalgia with a focus on all things fun. Plus, we have a couple of magicians here with a mini magic preview of their show that you can catch this weekend. And of course, we make some Irish themed cocktails inspired by the holiday using true Irish whiskey straight from the Emerald Isle. I'm Jane McDaniel, president of the Irish Cultural Society of San Antonio. Why not become a member? We've got loads of things going on over there. I want to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. You are watching SA Live. Oh, so sweet. Hello and happy Friday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And thank you to the Irish Cultural Society of San Antonio for that warm welcome. I'm Jen Tobias Dresky. And I'm Mike Osterhage. <laughs> and you might be hearing in the background a lot of great Tejano music. It is the uh, Tejano Music Awards fanfare going on this weekend. It is, I mean, there's a bunch it's a of it's almost, there. It's a it's party out there. It's almost like fiesta <laughs> out there. So you might be yes. hearing that in the background as we also celebrate St. Patrick's Day today. That's right. And speaking of St. Patrick's Day, the Inish Free School of Irish Dance is a competitive Irish dance school with locations throughout Texas, Mexico, New York and in Boston as well. And the Inish Free Dancers have placed at the regional, national, and world level. But the objective of the school is not just to produce champions, but to continue to pass on to its students of all ages the traditions and joy of Irish dance. And right now, we get a performance.
absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Seems ladies like a and too. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm tired just watching yes, them. That was beautiful. Thank you. Joining us right. now is Mark Molina. He is a dance dad. Ronan is his son, that one that you saw there. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right. Your mother, you said, was from Ireland? My grandmother's from Ireland. Okay. Uh, and my your wife, wife is from Ireland as well. So yes. Irish dancing runs into blood, I guess you nice. can say. So tell us about the school. The school, Inish Free School of Irish Dance, it is a competitive Irish dance school. However, students, kids do it for fun as well. It's a lot of fun to make friends as well. It's, it's, it's uh, also very physical. Um, even if you're into sports, football, soccer, the intricate footwear will help you with anything that you want to do. So kids do it. It's, they're very dedicated. They love doing it. And we love watching them as well. And, and you mentioned all ages can That's give right. us a try. That's right. I'd say, you know, as soon as they start walking, maybe from the age of three, we have students from the age of three, on to there's no age cap so wow. anyone and, and like we were talking it. about it's not just and, you, and you've won numerous awards and competed all over the world but have, yeah. it's to, to keep that Irish tradition going right that's true that's true a lot of these dances they come from Ireland some of them are you know very old and they traditionally they're passed on from 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 grandchild to child and everything else and so it's something that just keep the tradition going the heritage going as well you see that they have the hard shoes um, there's mm -hmm. also soft soft shoe dances group dances a whole variety of da Irish dancing okay wow. well we've seen so many so different much. cultural dances on our show before and how, this is Sophie and how does this compare to you've done ballet and all sorts of things how's this compared to it um, it's a lot more tef technically different different than the other type of dancing I've done like with ballet it's nice and graceful with Irish dance. It's not always as graceful, but we do guys keep our legs nice and crossed and feet turned out, which is definitely a lot different. And you don't really use your arms in this dancing. No, ball, that, that's the other thing. Okay, what is the basic step yes, that you do? We're gonna so learn. The, the one thing we teach all our beginners when we first start is we call them skips. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna start with your right foot in front, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one step with your right foot, yeah. and then step together, and then one more step with the right, mm -hmm. and you're gonna lift it up in the back with that left foot and then bring it up in front. And you said kick yourself in the rear end. Oh, and yeah. And then come forward. <laughs> yep. And then repeat that over and over again and do it very quickly. Right? Oh, yes. All right. Well, wow. again, it was absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yes, thank you, guys. For more information on Enish Free School of Irish Dance, head to salive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab, where we provided a link or that QR code right there. Just get your phone out and scan it, and that'll take you there as well. Well, of course, on St. Patty's Day, everybody is wearing the green and a little yes. bit Irish. Yeah, I even have it on my nails, see? I, I, I noticed that. <laughs> so we want to see your photos. Can you share them with us? And then maybe we'll share them later in the show. Just tag us at SA Live Kesa on Facebook or Twitter. You may see them. And probably a lot of green beer out there yeah. somewhere as <laughs> well. So, all right, from an organization your kids can get involved in to a camping spot that the kids and the whole family can love. Yes, last week we took you to a fun spring break adventure spot. And that was last Friday. It was so big that we had to split it up into two parts. Fiona went out there and had a great time. It's a huge family park. I know my cousins go there all the time. They love it. Take a look. acres of outdoor fun and it's right in New Braunfels and best of all you can stay right on site and here to tell us all about Camp Bimbo is General Manager Brian Langdon. Thanks for having us. This place is amazing. Its sheer size and amount of amenities is mind-blowing. But first, what does Camp Fimfo stand for? All right, Fimfo is an acronym for Fun is More Fun Outside. Okay. So everything we do is geared towards having fun outdoors. And if you can have fun outdoors, but this today we are showing you where you can stay. And this is just one example of the many places you can stay here, right? Right. This is uh, one of our custom built cabins for guests to stay on site. Uh, we have three bedrooms that sleeps up to 12 guests. So you can pack them in, come in here. We have full kitchens, dining, living areas, outdoor picnic tables, fire rings, grills, you name it, we got you covered. And air conditioning for the <laughs> Texas heat. That's right. The necessity. All right, so there are how many cabins like this? Right now we have 40 cabins on site that are ready to rent. Okay, and you're looking to expand soon, right? Yes. Um, by the end of the summer, we will have up to 173 more cabins for a total of 200 virtual. 
And besides the cabins, I mean, there are places for RVs and camping too, right? Yes, ma'am. We have 259 RV sites, some small, big, each 30, 50 amps, hookups, 5G, Wi-Fi for the whole park and 20 tent sites on whole property as well. So 5G Wi-Fi throughout the park. So no matter where you are, you need to do a zoo, you need to do a sky, you just want to watch a movie on your laptop or iPad or device, but you can do that. And there are those cute little, like, any tents, any cabins? Yeah, by river, we have riverfront cabins uh, down on the Guadalupe River. A couple of them face the Whitewater Amphitheater. So uh, when the concert's on, you have front row seats right here on property. And there are even hot tubs at some of the cabins? I hot tubs with them this year. And folks are already booking their upcoming weddings, right? Because your wedding venue is getting finished. Right. We have Willow Ridge slated to open later this spring. Um, it's a full wedding venue. We have a ceremony site. We have indoor reception areas. We have outdoor covered a patio for dancing and reception. And we'll even have a little outdoor space for late night fun. And then also coming are tree houses. Yeah. We'll have 18 tree houses for yeah. show off the beautiful Texas Hill Country's landscape. So it's really exciting coming up in later this year. All right. And besides all the fabulous places you can stay, there are the amenities. Let's quickly touch on those. Awesome. Yeah, we have 18 holes of mini golf, pickleball courts, a tennis court. We have basketball courts, jumping pillow, a zip line coming later this year, and Texas's first Alpine coaster, the Cliff Carver. Oh my goodness. And if you need anything and you forgot anything, you guys have a general store on site, right? Full, full general store with all the necessities. Drinks, snacks, uh, RV supplies, apparel, pets, souvenirs. Even water fun for the kids? Right, yep. We have a full pool, activity pool, multi-level play structure, and four resort-style slides. Okay. And for the adults, there's the no-dive bar, right? Yes, yeah, very popular place for the adults. Come and get a drink while you're sitting in the water. Okay, so you guys are open year-round, right? That's day. Tell us how they can find you. Uh, our website, the easiest way to find us, www.campfinfo.com. For all that information, all you got to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. When SA Live continues, a local restaurant's Irish remix menu for, of course, St. Patrick's Day, and we try some of those great recipes that you can only get today. Ooh, looks delicious. And we're sending you off into a magical weekend. We get a magic show preview from these magicians that will be disappearing after Sunday. So catch them while you can. It's a magic show that you can only catch this weekend and you get double the magicians. Yes, no magician's <laughs> assistant here. A couple of magicians, literally a couple, Francis Minotti and Lindsay Noel be going to be performing at the Magician's Agency Theater. Welcome and yes, three years, they just over three years. Three Marys. Married. Three Happy three Marys. Three Marys. Three Marys. Yes. Three Marys. Oh. It's two of us three and three Marys. Yeah. Three Marys. <laughs> oh. so, Valentine's Day of 2020, yeah. So yeah. what's it like being magicians and married? It's wonderful. You make magic together, right? Always. So, oh my. Not just on stage. <laughs> no, I mean, well, the whole reason we do what we do uh, full time is because we love travel. So, it's true. and it's nothing. Like, there's nothing better than traveling with your best friend. So. What a great oh, combination! Oh, yeah, you get to do what you love too. So with the one you love. Exactly. Oh, so sweet. Uh, okay. What do you got yes. for us? Uh, well. I know that Jen is a deal queen much like myself mm -hmm. and uh, before I was a magician I was a costume designer and I was well known for always coming in under budget so we're going to come in under budget right now. Okay, okay. I have a good feeling about this. So Jen, give me a single digit number, one through nine. Uh, eight. Eight. Great number. That's my mom's favorite number. Mike, any single digit number, one through nine. Five. Five. And then you told me I'm allowed to involve Steven, so Steven, any single digit number, one through nine, shout it out. Two. 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 All right. <laughs> All right. We got so it. We eight fifty-two. Jen, as a fellow deal queen, do you feel like eight hundred and fifty-two dollars would be a good price for this jacket? Oh uh, no. Look at this. No. Look at no, the no, look no, of horror. No, <laughs> no, no. no. Uh, but if I told you that it was eight dollars and fifty-two cents, the numbers you randomly called out, you would need some proof, right? Yes. Like a receipt. Yes. I don't have a receipt. Okay. How about, <laughs> how about a price tag, though? Okay. Yeah. yeah? If you look inside my jacket there, what? What? can you see what that says? <laughs> 
Wow. One of the many million reasons I married this person, <laughs> right? So, I keep our whole life under yeah. budget. Oh, yeah. He loves she, it. She does oh. the finances. Wow. But, uh, she does the finances. And that yeah. wasn't luck, but this is this is St. Patrick's Day, and we're we're not really well. We're big into luck as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we don't have a shamrock. I have a sham shamrock. I have a, we we had Chinese food last night, so we're I figured. We're also not Chinese. <laughs> exactly. But so not quite uh, not quite as on brand. But the luck is important, right? So this yes. is kind of luck of the almost Irish. I don't know. So uh, we're going to use this as a uh, this is the <laughs> almost <laughs> Chinese. It's a almost Irish. Irish. Sure. Yes. Uh, what we're going to do though is we're going to use this as a token. Who's a better poker player? Um, okay. Okay, you're a poker. Okay, and but do you know you know the names of the poker hands and all that stuff? Yes. So yes. we're going to make you the lucky person. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. And before we start, actually, I just want you to focus if you can. Maybe just this is going to help. This will come back in later. Focus if you can on a place you've always wanted to go. Just kind of keep that in your mind. You're not worried about poker. You've never, you don't really no. play poker anyway. So just focus on that place. Okay, it's right here. Yeah. All okay, right, great. So I'm just gonna mix these up a little bit. But here's what we got. It's just a standard uh, ten card poker. What's going to happen? You're going to make all the decisions. Okay. All right. And uh, so now that we've shuffled them, this is your lucky charm. Okay. okay we'll hopefully uh -huh. get through. That this will help you win. Okay. And even though you make all the decisions, you're going to win, Jen. Okay. Oh, okay. So Mike, we'll do okay. this one at a time. Uh, first, choose one of these cards. You're not going to get to look at them, but choose one for you and one for Jen. Okay. Okay. And hand one to Jen. There you go. Great. There you go. And uh, I'll tell you what. Let's just keep this moving. Have about uh, just one for yourself. One for myself. All right, okay. good. And uh, let's keep it going. Another one for yourself. I'll take this one. Fantastic. How about one for Jen? All right, you can have that one. Okay, okay. and uh, let's see. One more for Jen. And then, uh, what are we doing here? How about one? Let's do one for each of them, maybe? Uh, let's see here. How about uh, one more for yourself? Okay. Great. And how about one more for Jen? There you go. And now go ahead and take a look at your poker hand. See what you have so far. Ch let's see. Ch Pick Ch up. Let's see. Yeah, Jeff, flip it up. Show the camera. What do you got? Oh, wow. Okay, okay. that's not bad. So oh, whichever is going to be the your... best. <laughs> What's the best one for yourself? Take the best one to give yourself the best poker I'll, hand. I'll take the eight. Great. So, so I got a full, you house have full house. Excellent. Jen, Yay. let's see what you have, though, because okay. I said you were going to win. Okay. We have a, oh, look Oops. at that. We have an eight, <laughs> nine, <laughs> I don't play ten, again. jack, queen of king of clubs. That would be a full, a straight flush. A straight flush. Wait, you have the, you have the, go ahead and open that up. Oh, let's open it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and go and crack it open. And don't worry, I have a consolation prize for you, Mike. <laughs> Let's see, what does that say? It looks like it says a straight flush beats a full house. <laughs> right? <laughs> but you're thinking of the place you always wanted to go. Let's finish with this. Okay, you There's know another. what? Well, she's that opening up. that up, of course, they're going to be appearing at the uh, Mitch I'm going to make a prediction of where you want to go. This weekend, I'm getting some show feelings about tonight, it. Right? Uh, so, and then also uh, shows tomorrow night. And tomorrow at 7. Tomorrow at 7. And Sunday at 2. Okay. Exactly. And and just so right. quick. Yep. Okay. So you think of the place you want to go? Yep. You have a place uh, to go? How did they do that? It was actually. Is that the place you've yes. always wanted to go? You're, I'm serious. Oh, uh, this, yes. the goosies are coming. Okay. Wow. Francis, Lindsay, thank you very much. You Many more years of wedding bliss <laughs> together. That was fantastic. Oh my God. Thank you. Oh my God. You can read my mind. Okay. <laughs> more information on the Magicians Agency, of course, go to SALive.com wow. or scan that QR code at the bottom of your screen. All right, coming up, we taste a bit of Irish cheer from St. Patty's Day. We make craft cocktails with the Irish whiskey, Tula Mordu. of Irish Reels from a local band. Stick around. Welcome back to SA Live. This local band has been playing Irish music together for 40 years and they are based right here in San Antonio. Yep, St. James Gate, Irish all year long and they're helping to continue the traditions of Irish through their music. Take it away.
how you can catch them performing at the Arneson River Theater tonight. And for more information on St. James Gate, of course, head over to SALive.com, click on the SCN and SA Live tab, scan that QR code right there on your screen. All right, still ahead, uh, hunger for some Irish food from a local restaurant is menu you can only enjoy today. You don't want to miss these yummy recipes. And we sip on themed craft cocktails using Tullamore Dew's Irish whiskey. Cheers to that. It's coming up right after the break. Welcome back to SA Live. We're all celebrating St. Patrick's Day without a cocktail made with mm -hmm. Irish whiskey. Just doesn't feel quite right. No. So here to help, of course, is Sebastian de Romay, manager of brand advocacy for Tullamore Dew Irish Whiskey. Welcome. Happy St. Patty's Day, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, right. you as well. And right. we have got the classic, the one, the only Tullamore Dew. The one and only Tullamore Dew. Irish true. Uh, this is a triple blend Irish whiskey, uh, basically a blend of pot steel, malt whiskey, Whiskey and grain whiskey, which is going to give us an amazing flavor profile of sweetness, fruitiness, and a little bit of spice. And okay. this first cocktail we're making is yes. called. This is the very easy one. Okay, it's an apple dew. Okay. Okay. So it's a couple of parts. That's it mm -hmm. of Irish whiskey here, and you're going to top that up with apple, juice. apple juice. Yes. You can do that at home. This is super easy. You don't need any shaker equipment, okay. and your lime, yeah, lime squeeze on top. Et voila. And, and this here. is your first cocktail oh. of the day. This okay, sounds well, like with the apple juice in there, that this would be nice warm in front of the fire. It could be come, as well too. And fall, you could also so. use fresh green apple, you know, juice, yeah. and that would be even an upgrade if you want to go to you know, the whole freshness thing. Yes. Um, what do you think? Good? Well, you enjoy. I, All okay, right, I what is the next one? Okay, the next so. one. So we're going to mix it up a little bit here. Okay. We're going to make, you know, a cocktail okay. using a shaker. Okay. okay, but this is very easy. It's three ingredients again. So okay. you can do that at home, you know, no drama. Uh, we're going to use one and a half. Oh, you want to? Oh, there we go. Oh, you can just no, free no, more, but All right, okay. <laughs> uh, one and a half part of Talamodu Irish whiskey. Which is like, oh, a little bit more. A little you're gonna bit need, more? Yeah, yeah, okay. you go all the way to the top. Yeah, oh, uh, a little yes. bit more. That's it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah okay, why not? You know, it's St. Patty's Day. It's St. Patty's Day. That's yeah. for the luck of the Irish. Okay. Yeah, so. That's it. And then I make everything easy for you. It's honey syrup here, Ooh. three quarter of a part, and lemon juice, three quarter of a part. And along with the triple blend, it's triple distilled. Yes, yeah, triple, dis this triple distilled as well to be an Irish, you know, Irish the, whiskey. The most unique Irish whiskey. Yeah, with all the, the magic three. It's also aged in three different casks. Uh, so yeah, it's just like in this beautiful flavor and for $24, this is the best Irish whiskey you're going to find around. <laughs> Number two selling in the country actually. Um, let's shake that up. And then, so and then there's also I'm other... Seal it for you. Okay, thank you. I guess I'd say other blends or other varieties of Tullamore Dew too, right? There is, yes. We have uh, even a single malt. Yeah, hold it twice. Yeah, here we go. Look at that. We'll take a, take a second to look at this beautiful. We yes, we have... A 14 years old single malt. Uh, we have also a different aging uh, when it comes down to cask with a cider, you know, cider cask. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a, a beautiful range of Irish whiskey for you to enjoy. Absolutely. Okay. Look at that. Ooh, this is going to be super that. fresh and delicious with the honey. Yeah, I've got the little lemon peel here for you on top. And Wonderful. if the folks that might be, say, accustomed to drinking uh, like a bourbon or something like that, yes. how would this compare? A little bit of Okay, this? so yeah, the bourbon is different because it's aged with corn, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is just, you know, barley and grain in general. Mm -hmm. What do you okay. think? That Wonderful, right? Good. And, and bourbon is New York barrel as well. But this is, this is easy going. This is a perfect approach, you know, to the whiskey, you know, Irish whiskey category. Very nice and easy. Hello, okay. I'm gonna make another cocktail for you. Okay. This is a classic. Ooh, you know, you like, you like that? Yeah, those okay. are both good. Yeah. Irish right. coffee, anyone? Yes, yes. Please. But you're gonna tell me it's a little bit hot, right? So you know, Texas is a little bit okay. hot. So we're gonna do something nice, refreshing. We're gonna do the iced coffee. Ooh, okay. are we ready? Something we don't get at the local uh, <laughs> no. coffee place, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make it at home very easily. All right. So we're gonna use a couple of parts of a beautiful Talamoji Irish whiskey. Do you know where the name comes from? No. The Dew. You know, a lot of people think it's because of the water thing, you know, the dew. It's actually Daniel E. Williams, who was a manager of the distillery back in the days at the town of Talamo, which is right bang on in the middle of Ireland. Okay. Oh! Yeah. I did not. You see, a little fun fact for you. Tell your friend around. You know oh, why you're making tell, this amazing drink? Yeah, no, 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 fun fact. He loves fun facts and trivia. I will <laughs> remind Fiona. <laughs> and then a little bit of. Just uh, some, we got some espresso here, about mm -hmm. one part of espresso. Then we have some Irish cream, three oh, quarter oh. of a part. Okay. 
And then a little touch of sugar, but that's just up to you. I mean, I'm going to put okay. just a little touch. If you like it a little bit sweeter, go a little bit heavier. But, you know, keep it nice and... A little sprig of mint, and we're all set to go. Oh, yes. And this is more dude, you can find that anywhere you find anywhere, it. Right? You can, or yeah. Any, any liquor libations. store. Any liquor store will have it. As I say, you'll find it around the $24 mark. You okay. know? All right. Thank you so much. So that's your go. survey. For more information on Pinot Mordew Irish Whiskey, just head to our website. With you. SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we provided a link or just scan that QR code on your screen. And the classic Cheers. toast is Slange. 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 Yeah, Slange. Up next, it's time to chow down on Irish recipes from the Hayden's Irish Remix menu. We show you the food you can get only there today. kind of says it all. It's all right at the Hayden. And we are, of course, celebrating St. Patrick's Day with wonderful Irish-themed food. And, oh, heavens to Betsy, can't wait to try that. Bill Corbett, Director of Operations at the Hayden, is joining us now. And what are you making, need I have to ask? So uh, we are doing our Irish-Jewish remix this week at the, the Hayden, especially for today, for St. Patrick's Day. And nothing is more Jewish and Irish than corned beef and corned beef on rye together the perfect simple remix so that's okay. what we're doing today and a lot of people think it's interesting with corned beef think it is traditionally because corned beef and, and cabbage being irish always but associated actually, with the irish yes but originated with the, the jews yeah especially with the ashkenazi culture that uh, permeate into new york in like the 1800s okay and you got to have it on rye bed right yes okay you got to have it on that Caraway yeah. seeded, right. And corned beefing, or corning beef, I guess would be the phrase. I don't know if it's a verb or not, but <laughs> um, it was a way of preserving it, right? Yeah. Uh, so everybody hears corned beef and you think, like, where's the, the ear of corn, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, corn actually comes from, in the 1800s, was a, a word used to preserve. So oh. it basically means preserve. So corned beef is preserved beef or pickled beef. Okay, and then what we're also making too is Irish soda bread. You can't have St. Patrick's Day without having soda bread. I would always get excited when I was a kid and you go to the grocery store. That was the one time of year you could actually find good so, Irish soda bread. So in there I've got flour and then baking soda. Baking soda, mm, yes. No yeast. No yeast. What next? Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of butter in there okay. with the fruit. All right. And while you got that, that I got so I got this nice corned beef that and, we've braised and sliced. And then what was the reason behind the soda bread? So the soda bread was uh, basically a starch replacement during the after the potato famine came in and wiped out all the uh, potatoes. But people still needed some type of sustenance, and so they found out that they could make uh, a bread just by using baking soda, and you're able to get a loaf of bread on the kitchen table in about two hours, which nothing would have been than, fast back then. <laughs> and cutting butter into the uh, the bread, and then a little bit of or the, a little bit of butter in here. You can put the egg in there and the then the, egg, the fruit. Oh, okay. So traditionally it wouldn't have been with uh, the raisins, but now it's kind of more of like a dessert or like a sweetened bread. And then buttermilk? Yes. So always buttermilk when you have the soda, right? Yes, because okay. the baking soda needs that to uh, activate. It's and the acidity in the buttermilk that reacts with the baking soda and that's what causes the lip. All right, and that would just get turned into a ball like this and instead of waiting for the yeast to rise, the soda would act much more quickly. Yeah. And you said there's one special thing that you have to do you to that You have to look. do, you have to put a cross in the top. And so that's uh, Irish Oops. custom of uh, letting the, the devil out of the bread or keeping the devil out. Really? Yeah. Okay, and then just break it open like that and look at how, oh, look at how gorgeous that looks. Warm, smear that little bit of butter and you are just all set to go. Yeah, on you come in the store, we got this nice apple butter right here as well, you can dip it in. Don't mind if I do, so, <laughs> okay. And this special menu though is only going on through today, right? Yes, we are wrapping up today. We've done uh, Wednesday and Thursday and we're wrapping up today. And we have some other items on our menu as well. We are gonna have, uh, we've been doing our version of a bangers and mash. Mm. So we smoked salmon and mm -hmm. took some bacon and we have uh, emulsified the two and stuffed them. And then we're serving that on top of a potatoes uh, coal cannon, which is basically taking mashed potatoes and using sauteed cabbage and onions in there as well to give it like a little bit of crunch with some deli mustard. Oh, seriously. Yeah. And then we have a tongue and liver sandwich, which we actually took uh, beef tongue and we corned those mm -hmm. all last week. And now we're serving it with our chicken liver schmear, sauerkraut, pickled onions, a little bit of arugula on there as well. Oh, wow. And then for dessert, we have our Irish coffee mousse that we've been serving. Guess where I'm going for dinner tonight, yeah. I think, as far as this goes. <laughs> and so. you can have that also with a frozen Irish uh, coffee. And then uh, we're doing uh, Irish red ale from uh, Dorkel they have. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. It's more local Southtown. 
And then uh, you can wash that down with some Jameson. Have yourself a real St. Patrick's Day feast over at the Hayden. <laughs> Again, that's why I think I'm going for tonight <laughs> anyway. And hopefully soon opening up another location over there on the uh, far north, uh, kind of north, north, uh, west side of town. And if you'd like more information, look at that corned beef sandwich on the Hayden. Of course, head over to SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. So good to see you, sir. And the Irish toast, slange. 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 <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> And yes, the corned beef sandwich was delicious. From the Green River to parades and block parties, what's happening around town for St. Patty's Day weekend? That's coming up next on SA Live. But first, your local expert, John Wayne Service Company, is helping you get ready for that intense summer heat with Flex AC. Take a look. Hi, I'm Chris with John Wayne Service Company. And today we're installing a John Wayne high efficiency Flex AC system. Let's go check it out. Heading the install today is going to be one of our lead installers, Daniel. And one of the first things we're going to do is remove the old AC system. That includes the system on the outside and the system in the attic, which is a horizontal air handler. There were many reasons why our homeowners, Justin and Sol, wanted to move forward with a new AC system. We're super excited for the new system as it's our daughter's first year of life and being that it's more efficient and higher quality, the filtration and the air in the home is going to be better for her and her lungs and ultimately we're super excited for the outdoor unit to be very quiet as our old system was right outside and it was super loud. We're going to get a great night's sleep and so is she. We're replacing the disconnect which comes standard with every John Wayne install. As an extra precaution we always make sure we put a surge protector on the equipment. So as you can see here we have an existing slab that the old system was sitting on. But with the new John Wayne Flex AC system, we're able to mount this system on the house with some brackets to give it more stability. So as you can see here with the finished product, this takes up a lot less space than the original system did. In addition to replacing the entire system, the customers are gonna get a five stage indoor air quality system, which consists of an easy change air cleaner, 24 seven UV, EnviroPure whole house purification system, and an ionizing scrubbing system. So their baby can breathe fresh air. Well, we're all done for the day. The guys are wrapping it up. But if you think you could benefit from a John Wayne Flex system, give us a call or look us up on the web at johnwayne.com. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, the Emerald Isle comes to San Antonio this weekend for St. Patrick's Day. That's right, and there are tons of things to do around town that celebrate all things Irish. And, of course, our beloved river is now emerald green. It was dyed earlier this morning, and there are going to be several Irish-themed events along the Riverwalk this weekend, including, of course, the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Yes, and then you can head to the Riverwalk. Actually, you can head there now and still take part of the festivities at Mad Dog's British Pub along the Riverwalk. The parade happens again tomorrow, 1 o'clock, and tickets are still available for the Mad Dog's party boat experience. Well, this might be a British pub, but they're going Irish tonight. The Winchester on Broadway is having a St. Patrick's Day block party until they sell out. They're offering Irish food for order, wings for free, and of course, green beer and great cocktails. You have to have the green beer, right? And don't forget, you can see a performance by St. James Gate, James's Gate tonight at the Arneson River Theater. You heard the Irish music earlier on our show, and they're going to be performing at the Bud Light St. Patrick's Day River Parade and Festival. And you can find more things to do online at things to do in San Antonio.com. They have a listing of all events you can do in March and April will be coming soon with Fiesta. So keep checking. And everybody is green and Irish this weekend. <laughs> hey, Monday on SA Live. Well, spring starts later on in the afternoon. If it doesn't feel like it, how you can get a luxurious blooming brunch straight to your home for your upcoming parties. Plus, Fiesta is on the horizon. How one local pet rescue is already kicking off this season and how you can help support them in a fun, festive fashion. That's Monday, 1 o'clock, right here on SA Live. you to share those photos, your St. Patrick's Day green fun that you're having. And so we, I think we got a few here. Yeah, Stan. Oh. Oh, that's a great <laughs> suit. I love wow. that. Yes, love it. I need that suit. Happy St. Patrick's Day from a little cheese of Southwest Military Drive staff. Thank you, Jacob. And Peter, happy St. Patty's Day from this Packers fan. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, it's the green, green, we'll the green of the Packers. <laughs> and the nice green 
t-shirt she has on. And look, an Irish lass came to visit us. Special visitor, Mia, Hello. welcome. Just after doing the weather. Yes, which is why I'm not wearing green, right? Okay. Because I was gonna blend in with a green screen. So. Ah. So, yes, me too. But you have yeah. those green eyes, right? Okay, there, okay, you, go. there you go. And, and what are you doing down here at Market Square? <laughs> so we're actually fixing to record weather on the road since there's obviously so many fun things happening here this weekend. Yes, so yes. it'll be fun. Fun, right. fun place to be. Yes. All right, we're ending the show with more Irish Rules by St. James's Gate. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks for coming, Mia.